Hey guys, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel um, for a new and exciting video. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out my Instagram because I'm a lot more active on there. But um, today I want to show you my uh, sticker organization for 2020, my current system that I'm working with and that I'm actually really, really happy with. Um, I, I recently cleaned it up and tweaked it just a tiny bit because um, I have a lot of stickers and I was craving a little bit more organization and overview of what I actually have so I can use all of it but this is the current system um, you can see there's a lot of different things and there's a lot of different categories that I want to go through with you guys today um, so starting from the left um, this um, is actually I mean just as a general overview, this is usually at the back of my desk and I just pulled it all forward so you can see it. Um, and th that way I can always just grab whatever I need. But from left to right, um, the biggest uh, one is actually my Miri Mibel sticker binder. Um, and this is quite new. Should I just, I'll just give you a quick overview from left to right what we have and then go through into everything into more detail. Okay, so sticker binder. Then we have an envelope um, where I put my leftovers in that are ready to give away to a friend or a planner friend or my sister-in-law. Then uh, we have an Erin Condren pouch that houses all of my uh, recent um, orders that I've hauled on Instagram but not yet on YouTube. So it's this really sturdy Erin Condren pouch so they don't bend. Then we have my um, sticker like photo album that you probably know because I did a huge um, like look into that a while ago but we'll have a little bit of a closer look at that again today. Um, then we have two really cute um, like sticker binder, sticker organization. This one is from Wendy Prince. This one is from Plush Papery. Um, they are both the largest kind that they each had. However, um, the Wendy Prince one is even bigger. So the Wendy Prince one houses my Erin Condren kits and the Plush Papery's one houses my decorative kits. Um, and then I have two smaller binders. One is actually a pocket-sized uh, clear um, planner, like clear agenda ring bound thing that houses all of my uh, create with pen tintas. And then this one is a smaller photo book that houses my other icons. Um, but as I said, we'll go into that in a little bit. And then I have my acrylic um, drawer. This one has five drawers, um, quite shallow, but we'll go into that. And it has one for a script, one for leftovers, one for currently, one for sticker books. And the last one is for packing, which technically is not stickers. But as I said, we'll get there. So I'm gonna push this all back to the edge of my desk and then we'll go through one by one. So first things first, the Miri Mibel foil collection. I splurged and I got one of Miri Mibel's foiled binders. Um, when she uh, announced that she was gonna come out with this, I just knew I had to have it. Um, a, to extend my foil collection and B, to finally have a proper house for my foil collection. Whoops. Um, it's still not 100% proper because so far I have taped in this um, clear pocket that's actually open and where I put all of my smaller icon sheets in and then I washi taped it to the binder which is I would say a medium to bad idea um, because as you can as you saw like every time I open it it just falls out um, but it really also forces me to look at them and to go through them it's a little bit mixed there's a couple of the graceful planner um, um, icons and deco in here as well um, but it's mostly Mirini Bell uh, leftovers from um, like monthly kits um, and all of these like little freebies, all of these tiny ones that I want to use up. And um, so I'm just keeping them in the front here. So I'll use these first before I get to go into my new stash. Um, I also um, hole punched and put in a couple of my old like half used sheets. 
Um, and yeah, they're upside down because with the new system, the hole punch is on the left. But I do have a couple that I want to use up from her old um, kind. She recently had a sale where she um, had these also um, on in a re on a reduced price. Um, but it, the kit, like this binder, also came with a ton of. Um, foiled stickers and if you want to see a closer look um, it was in my I think it was the February or March haul um, so there's a really really cute um, stickers in here and I actually got the uh, regular gold foil color um, she has these in like different foil colors and you could also get like all the foil colors which if you did leave me a comment I'm so jealous like that must have been the coolest haul ever. Um, then next up, as I said, we do have um, an envelope. This is an old Miremi Belle Happy Mail envelope where whenever I have a leftover that I know I'm going to give away, um, I just stick it in here so it already has a home. Um, and so far, I think there's like one like half used kit in here. Um, because I recently cleared out my... Um, uh, leftovers and I realized that I don't actually go back and use them so I decided to just give them away to people who um, are happy to use them and who can use them because they don't have that much like financial um, ability to buy all the kits so I thought it'd be nice to just like you know put them away immediately so I know that they are going to a good home. Then, as I said, um, this is my Erin Condren Claire pouch. This actually came free with an Erin Condren three or four years ago, and it is really, really sturdy. Um, these um, pouches are fantastic for taking stickers with you if you're traveling or if you're going to a planner meetup. I can highly, highly recommend this one. Um, and I actually use it to put all of my orders in here. So currently, I still have to haul um, three orders. So this one is actually a um, like a Happy Mail planner friend gift from Rachel. Um, she is called the uh, Gathered Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. And she kindly gifted me a, a couple of honey inked stickers, which was really really nice. Then I have a Paperly Fox order, and then I have a um, this sticker panda coat order. So I can't wait to show you those also in a monthly haul. But for now, they're waiting here, so I'm not using them until I have actually hauled them which, you know, I hope is going to be very soon because I can't wait to use them. Then next up is my sticker binder. Um, as I said, this was a, its own video on my channel about a year or two ago, probably two years ago by now. So this is actually just a photo album that I bought on Amazon um, and I still use it the same way I did back then. So it has these... Um, moleskin um, like tabs uh, to sort the categories and it still has like a lot of things in here. Um, I still use it whenever I don't have the perfect icon and I need something, especially like in the food category, there's quite a few things. The hobby category, like with the horn practice and planning and everything, there's quite a few um, stickers that I pull out of this album and it's just a really neat way to sort it by category, um, especially for shops where I don't have that many icons of that it deserves its own storage um, and you know like I get I go back to this all the time so I wouldn't want to miss it and this is just a really really good storage system that I love to this day um, and then let's get these two babies out and I'm gonna have to figure this out that it goes back in all right so these are my two like proper sticker albums, like Etsy pretty Instagram worthy ones. Um, as I said, Wendy Prince and Plush Paperies. Um, these are like the biggest size that they have. So I think this one was called the jumbo size. Um, and this one, I don't remember, but the biggest size that they have. And I love, love, love this bunny. I think it's so cute. Um, and yeah, the Wendy Prince one is a little bit bigger. So it does actually fit Erin Condren kits of 
any size. It's still a little bit smaller than A5. Um, so these sheets that I have in between are actually A5 size and I cut this one down two um, grids, so one centimeter, and I cut this one down four, so two centimeters. So this is one centimeter smaller than A5 and this is two centimeters smaller than A5. Um, and the way that my Erin Condren kits are stored um, is that I always have them in the order of, like in the sequence that I'm gonna use them. So you can see I uh, already used this one and next up, here's a sneak peek. Um, I'm gonna use the home kit by Anna Hart's Planning. Uh, that's really, really, really old um, and I've been hoarding it forever. Then a vintage sticker dream kit that I'm still waiting on one. Then I'm gonna finally use some Simply Gilded stickers together with some leftovers. And then I have some um, sheets in here that just remind me um, stickers of what shop I want to use. Um, since I am PRing for a couple of shops, I do want to give them a regular appearance in between all the other shops that I just buy myself, all the other kits that I buy myself. So I'm just trying to plan that. Um, and then in the back, I also have a bit of a storage section and these are organized by shops. So it starts with Miri Mi Belle um, and this is actually my leftovers from the Golden Rose kit. But since this was a like an exclusive um, advent calendar kit with so many extras and so many stickers, I actually have so many that I'm going to use it again in another week. Um, then I'm hoarding a couple of Hello Petite paper um, kits because these these are what I save for rainy days. So when a week was just horrible or extremely amazing, <laughs> there is no in between with Hello Petite Paper. Um, these are the kits that really are extremely special to me because I think they're so pretty. Um, I actually have the Capture the Moment mini kit. And um, then I have some fall stickers here because they go together with the Foxy kit that I've hoarded for a long time. I have the garden party mini kit. And I have the um, pears in the spring kit, which I'm so excited to use eventually because it has these really cute dachshunds and macaroons and everything. And I actually bought this in a D stash and I couldn't be happier that I finally have my hands on it. Um, then I have a couple of vintage sticker dream kits. Um, just you know, I bought them for an occasion and then I didn't end up using them, but now I have them on hand, especially the flower ones for just any sort of week, which is fantastic. Then I have some Anna Hart's planning. Um, a jo the Joy Kit is for more of a winter scenery, so I'm probably gonna use that in November. And then I have a couple of mini kits from her, um, which I can't wait to use again once I'm using a, like a, a personal size planner again and then I have some plush papery I just have this one um, by the sea mini kit and then in the very back I just have a couple of things that I can pull in that are more functional so I have some day extenders and then I have um, some labels in case I have a kit that doesn't have enough labels but yeah so this is my Erin Condren kit um, storage and then in this one um, this is a more of a decorative um, kit storage. So in the beginning, I have a couple things that don't really belong to any particular shop. Um, this is actually some washi stickers that I got in a scrapbooking kit a while ago. And then I have, uh, this was a freebie, but I think it could be great to decorate a week in my B6. Um, some Easter stickers. And then I actually have a couple of decorative stickers from Mirimi Belle that I really like. And then it also, again, is organized by shops. So we have some Anna Hart's planning um, kits that I really like these. I mean, some of these are so old. Um, I mean, shout out if you have these as well and are, if you're hoarding them, because some of these are like years and years old. Then I have some vintage sticker dream, um, lots and lots of florals. These are some dog stickers. I really like this one. So, so cute. And these are just fantastic. Um, lots of spring stuff and Easter stuff and wedding stuff for all the weddings that are hopefully taking place. Um, and I just really like her deco kits. And I have some girl stickers from vintage sticker dream as well. Um, and I actually have so many from Minge Secret Dream that I sorted them by season. So this is spring 
and summer and shopping and fall and like more of a black and white winter, then exercise and then travel. <laughs> um, and then in the back here, I have some Graceful Planner. I don't really have that much from her, but I have this one kit that I loved when it came out and that actually um, the florals from this um, kit are uh, were on my uh, Graceful Planner freebie for 2019 because I really, really like these. And then we're coming to the last two booklets before we're coming to my acrylic drawers. Um, so you probably know this one um, if you watch my channel regularly. So this is actually from my pocket planner because um, it has a couple of uh, Create With Pen stickers on there and I'm trying to use it up um, to get rid of that um, and go back to just using the ones that are in here. So this is a ring bound planner that I bought on AliExpress. It's actually really hard to use. So I decided not to use it as a planner because it would be an absolute nightmare. But I'm using it as a sticker storage and the Create With Pen uh, Tinta sheets are actually the perfect size for a pocket size planner. Just a little bit wider than pocket size. Um, and I have actually sorted them into categories because I have so many. So we have functional, um, household, food, hobbies, then planning is losing its label and I'm gonna have to redo that label. Um, these Erin Condon stickers are just not very great. Um, but then we have planning, we have exercise, and then in the end we have emotions. So I have a couple of like emoji kind of stickers and then are like really excited and really sad and that kind of emotion stickers. And I love these. I was on the PR team for Create With Pen in 2018. Um, so I haven't been on the PR team for a year, but I still, to this day, I'm so, so happy I got to be on that team and got such an amazing collection of stickers. And every once in a while you see me do a whole Tinta week and I'm just, because I have almost every icon I could possibly need and it's fantastic. And I hope I never run out of these. Um, but um, to extend my range of icons, I have started this little sticker book because I have recently joined the Sticker Panda Co. PR team and I needed a proper way to store them. It's actually a mixed storage of Sticker Panda Co. and Plush Paperies um, because I have a couple of Plush Paperies icons but not quite enough to warrant their own storage. So they just share one. And then we also have categories like work, home, food, um, like wine, uh, fun, like gardening and self-care and exercise and puppies, and then social stuff like parties and being excited. Um, so this is still a growing collection and this is something that, you know, I'm working hard on and ordering a lot of icons to make this grow, but I think it's such a cute little, um, photo album. I just, I mean, it came like this and it was like a, like two euros or something. It's just like a um, pocket album um, if you're German, it's from uh, DM. But yeah, I thought it was a really, really good deal and just a re really neat storage solution. And then we are finally here at the acrylic drawers. And let me just pull these, yeah. Now let me just pull these forward like that just so you can see them. So let's start with the bottom drawer because it's the least exciting. So this, um, I have them, they're all labeled with a little label maker. Um, and the bottom one is called packing. And I use the packing one really for packing um, letters and happy mail and gifts. So it really has like, like this, I think it's pretty hideous, but um, I actually got it as a present and I'm using it to label letters and envelopes because, you know, the letters get kind of destroyed in the mail anyways. And I think it's really neat to have these kinds of stickers. And I have a couple of Erin Condren gift labels, um, like all kinds of like gifting, labeling, sending stuff. Um, then in the next category, I have sticker books. So this is my sticker book category. So we have um, some Erin Condren stickers. 
Um, these actually a friend of mine gifted me. I think it's so so cute of her to give me some like Erin Condren sticker kits. I hope one of these days I get to use them. Um, then let me just get the bigger one out, ones out first. So more Erin Condren. And I used to be obsessed with these when I first started and now I just can't really give them away because I really like them. Oh, then I have this really, I, I think it's so cute. It's uh, from Kiki K. I also got this uh, in a Happy Mail from a planner friend back in the day. And it has all these really cute pastel -y quotes. And I've used a couple here and there for setups. And that's, I mean, what I like using them for. I think it's extremely beautiful, but I don't, I don't even use it enough. It's so cute. Um, this one's quite, quite new. Um, it's actually from um, Sostring Gren, which is this Danish store. And it has a couple of cute decorative stickers um, that I might use for um, decorating letters or for decorating my B6, like especially these florals. And I actually gave this away to uh, Rachel from The Gathered Plants as well. And I thought just thought it would be nice to decorate like letters she sends out, like wedding invitation or that kind of thing. Um, I mean, some of these are really childish, but some of these are really cute. So um, I think it's, look at that, it's so cute. It's, and I mean, some of these are foiled, so you really can't complain. And I think it's just really cute. Then I have uh, two sticker books from uh, Michaels that I got um, uh, during Black Friday last year. And these are the Michaels collaborations with Etsy sticker shops. So one is One Ton in a Million and one is Sweet Kawaii Design. And I just think this is really cute. It's like all kinds of desserts, like so cute. And then Sweet Koi Design is all kinds of budgeting stuff. So I'm not really good at using sticker books, but I think they're really cute. And then my recent addition, which I'm so excited about, is a springtime sticker book by the Sticker Panda Co. And I showed this in my last haul. I think it's so cute. And these are actually like really, usable stickers. I mean, some of these are not very like planner friendly, but I feel like these are just really, really made for an Erin Condren and made for the kinds of planners that I use. So I'm excited for that. Then the next um, category is probably the most exciting one. It's called currently. <laughs> and I know currently it kind of sounds like it mean it could mean anything and that really is what the currently category is all about. It means everything I'm currently obsessed with <laughs> or that currently recently came in or that I currently need a lot. Um, so this is something that I need to go through and sort through quite regularly because it kind of sometimes develops into a bit of a dump um, for just everything that I don't know where to put it. But that's cool, right? Like I'm, I do enjoy that. So um, the biggest category in here is probably freebies. You know I love freebies and I collect freebies and I have a lot of freebies with my name on it as well, um, like my PR freebies. Um, and this is where I have them to pull them out, um, like, oh, look at that one. Um, and to also send them away with happy mail. And yeah, this is where my freebies live. Um, then I have a couple more foiled stickers in here. Um, a couple more graceful planner ones, the ones that are in gold, because the gold ones, as you know, are in the um, sticker binder with all the gold foil stickers. Um, so I have a couple more foiled ones here, just in case. Um, these are actually from the GP Sticker Studio, and the GP Sticker Studio sheets didn't fit my uh, regular storage, so I had to cut them down by one row, and now they live in here so they get used up more quickly. Some more foiled stickers, um, Anna Hearts Planning, Graceful Planner, Scalloped um, Bow Corners. Um, these are actually some um, icon leftovers from um, the Paper Shire, which used to be Toffee Bananas, and I love her icons. So I just cut off these from the leftovers to store them in here, which is, I mean, technically could be more of a sampler. Then, <laughs> I have this category, which is foiled 
um, flags and bows and headers from Mirimi Belle because I pull these in all the time for kits where I don't have the matching foiled bows and headers and um, flags. Um, then in here, oh man, <laughs> I really need to sort through this. Um, we have a couple of things. These are um, like animal flags from Le Planner Pals Co, which um, were a, um, was it a birthday or a Christmas gift from my planner friend Vanessa? Anyways, she gave me these and I think they're so cute. I actually use a lot of the dear ones around Christmas time because they were really, really good with Christmas kits. But look, I'm going to put the um, bunny one up top because now it's almost Easter and I can use all the bunny stickers. But you can see there's also some like winter stickers. And then I have all of these cute toffee bananas flat lays. But I'm not very good at using these because I think they're so cute. But they don't really match a lot of kits. Um, but yeah. Um, then I have some functional stickers from Anna Hart's Planning. And I used to have these in my planner, uh, in my everyday carry, because these are really versatile. But I currently don't have them in my planner because I don't really plan with icons in my everyday carry, in my B6. Um, so these are just hanging out here. And then here are a couple more leftovers from um, Toffee Bananas, now um, the Paper Shire, um, that, I want, that I pull in here and there. Oh, I've pulled in these um, foiled bows from Harry Wright Designs a lot, as you can see. And um, these actually fit a lot of kits, which is great. And then I have a Toffee Bananas flat lay sampler that I just cannot, for the life of me, use because I don't want to ruin it because it's so perfect. I think it's the most beautiful thing. Um, but yeah, I'm not, not very good at all at using it. And over here, it's just like a um, very cute um, Bible quote full box and a um, simply gilded bow sticker that are just hanging out just in case I ever need them. Um, and yeah, you can see there it's quite a, currently it's quite a diverse um, category, but I usually have a pretty good knowledge of what's in here and, and what I can pull into my um, like planning and pull into my, um, yeah, sticker usage. Yeah, I don't know. I, it, it works. It really does work. I'm, I'm quite good at keeping this clean and, and going through it regularly to make sure I actually use my currently section. Then I have a section and um, this is actually called leftovers. And this used to be a very neglected drawer that would just collect piles and piles and piles of stickers that I would never use. Uh, if you saw my stories recently when I cleared this out, it actually had last year's Easter kit in here. I mean, that's how bad I was about using my leftovers. So I've really cleared it out. I've cre created that um, envelope of things that I already know that are gonna go away. And in here, I really only have leftovers that I know I want to use. So for example, I still have my March um, monthly leftovers in here because I really, <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you guys' March, but my March did not turn out as I thought. So I really am gonna have to go through my March and update it at the end of the month with, with what actually happened. So I'm saving this to do that. And I think that's gonna be another video on this channel of like what my March actually was like. <laughs> Um, then I have a couple of um, sheets of um, Mirimi Bell icons. Um, I cannot throw these out, so I collect them on empty sheets. And I actually, oops, this is a Toffee Bananas, um, like a sheet that's mixed in with Toffee Bananas Co. Or Toffee Bananas or the Paper Shire. Um, and then, yeah, I just, I have a lot of Mirimi Bell icons left over. Um, so I'm super happy because sometimes when I use Mirimi Bell kits, I plan not only once a week, but twice a week. And I don't only do laundry once a week, but twice a week. So it's really good to have all of these icons left over. And I pull that in quite frequently. Um, and then the second thing I have in here is um, the Grey Soul Planner leftovers. This is actually the blush collection. And I have used the blush collection, so it's yeah, kit leftovers. But since I still have, I also bought this essentials sheet 
Um, so it would be absolutely perfect to use in a personal size planner or in my B6 planner or I don't know, but I just cannot give it away because I do have this sheet and I will use it eventually. So yeah, because I think, I mean, this is my favorite um, fashion girl and I really, really want to use this kit again because it was one of my all time highlights. So yeah, leftover, quite orderly and quite good and well maintained currently, but we'll talk again soon. And then the top drawer um, is actually my script drawer. And, and the main thing that's in here is my script collection from Vintage Sticker Dream. Um, I have, I sort these by hole punching them, having a thread through, and then I um, have like little washies up top here that are just on the pages um, to uh, like sort them into categories. So we have social home, me, which is like workout and relax and that kind of thing, then planning, then we have a functional stuff, and in the very back we have like date stuff, which is like dates and numbers and um, like holidays. So quite good, you know I'm obsessed with these, I use these every single week, they are the best script um, and I'm super super happy to have such a heavy uh, stack. Um, then I actually have some work from home stickers from Planner Kate, which you know now that we're all in quarantine, um, it actually is quite neat to have these. So thanks again Belinda, I can really use these now. Um, and yeah, these were actually a gift from my um, viewer and planner friend Belinda and I still think it's such, such a wonderful gift because she knows how much I enjoy actually working from home. Um, then I have a couple of script stickers from Elia X Design. Um, she sent me these to review a long time ago. Um, these are actually really good but massive. So these are like really, really large. So for the Erin Condren, a little bit too large, which is why I haven't really used a lot of them. But I think it's really nice, like clean all the things and do all the things just for days where you know, you actually do spend a really large chunk of time on like cleaning or doing all the things and then I actually really do enjoy this goal script and I think one of this, those days it's gonna come in handy. Then I do also have quite a few script stickers from Anna Hart's Planning. So we have like work day, then this is a, a mixed sheet, um, parties, like um, bridal shower baby, party, then we got bills, we got family time, date night, and I really need to use these more often. I haven't used them barely enough. Um, they're actually really cute. And then I just have one sheet of date cover add-on from Miremi Bell um, from back in the day when I had an undated uh, planner and I needed to put a date everywhere. But yeah, overall this is my script section and I'm quite happy with it. And this work sticker, I pulled it up the other day and then I decided to do a home office sticker instead. So it's gonna need, it's gonna need to like survive until my next plan with me. But yeah, I am uh, really, really happy. I actually got this on Amazon um, and it's so good and for organizing stickers that don't really have uh, any other home. So I'm really, really, really happy with it. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to conclude my sticker organization update. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, let me know if you saw any sticker that you really need to have and you really need to know where I got it. Just ask me in the comments. And if you wanna see all of those stickers in action, um, now's a really great time to subscribe to this YouTube channel and find me on Instagram. Um, and if you wanna check out my coupon codes, cause I am on a couple of PR teams and it's a really, really nice uh, opportunity to save some money, then check out my coupon codes in the description box and I'll see you guys again very soon. Take care, bye bye.